वेलकम टू बायोग्लो इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लॉस ऑफ स्पीसीज डायवर्सिटी माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जसील असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी मार्कस आर्ट्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज आदवनाट द लॉस ऑफ स्पीसीज इज अ नेचुरल प्रोसेस वी नो फ्रॉम फॉसिल एंड हिस्टोरिकल डाटा दैट all species have a definite life span we people also have a definite life span we also know those forces that led to loss of species as well as those that allowed certain species to survive the theoretical calculations from fossil data suggest that as much as a quarter of earth species become extinct each million years certain forces are led to the loss of species as well as those that allowed certain species to survive then theoretical calculations suggest that quarter of a species become extinct each million years the actual reasons for this loss are not known but it may be due to various reasons first one interspecific competition second one climatic changes third one accumulation of deleterious genes result of inbreeding extraterrestrial impacts such as those of asteroids types of species extinction the first one is true extinction a species is said to have become extinct when all its individuals are lost without producing progeny such a loss of species is called true extinction for example extinction of dinosaurs in groups uh, that is not a trilobites trilobites so extinction of dinosaurs category this is the fossil of trilobites then pseudo extinction a group may disappears leaving descendants with evolutionary modifications descendants means pingamigal example a horse evolution while the earliest ancestor became extinct its descendant survived to produce the modern equus this is a picture of a pseudo extinction in horse family then extinctions of the true type generally occur when a natural or man made environmental change or challenge exceeds the adaptive capacity of the individuals of a species and there is no safe place to it which the species can retreat the next extinction is known as background extinction the species extinction without the intervention of man is often called background extinction background extinction rate on average is calculated to be 4 million years for each species this may appear to be an incredibly long time to humans but is remarkably short with reference to the nearly 4000 million years of history of life on earth background extinction rates are considerably lower in land plants since they tend to belong to evolutionary clades that are more extinction prone than others then last extinction is known as mass extinction the extinction of a large number of species within a relatively short period of geological time thought to be due to factors such as catastrophic global event or widespread environmental change that occurs too rapidly for most species to adapt the extinction of large number within a relatively short period of time is known as mass extinction the the certain this is due to certain catastrophical global event catastrophic means causing sudden damage the effects that causing sudden damage some of the mass extinction are of short duration while others are extinct for at least several million years eight extinctions have been identified and grouped into five major mass extinctions first one ash gillian that is the end of ordovician second one givetian third one frasnian 
fourth one famanian all three are light devonian then gauda <coughs> gauda lupian or gua guado lupian then shulfian that is the both end in permian then norian that is the end of triassic then maastrichtian that is the end of cretaceous most species extinctions have been due to these mass extinctions for example during the mass extinction of the permian triassic boundary 96% of all earth species at that time reportedly perished the norian and maastrichtian extinction were also substantial thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you